Okay, today we're installing the Hobie sealing kit on my Hobie Revo. There's my Hobie, my blue Hobie Revo, 13 foot. Need a, lot, a, little, a couple of modifications to get things going. The first is the sailing rudder, which is a bigger rudder. You'll need basically a screwdriver and maybe a ratchet set to actually take it apart. As you can see, Jose is uh, doing it right here while I'm filming him. All right on the beach, nothing too hard about it. As you can see, it's much bigger, gives you much better control. Not that you can't do it, but definitely it's, it's a plus to have a bigger rudder. The next thing is to install the stabilization unit. And all that is is four screws to hold down the clamp using a 3 8 drill bit. The clamp is a bar that goes across your kayak. And then the sponsons, you blow up, so it's actually very compact if you want to move it around. It's very light, there's three positions. There's an up position, which is recommended for sailing, a neutral position, and a down position, which is recommended for fishing. There it is. Clips on, rotates, pretty easy. The next step is to put together the sailing, the actual sail. Comes in, uh, three part, the sail and the rod. The rod is two piece, you put the rod together, then slip it into the sail. Uh, the rod is flexible and it goes right into an already pre-made hole that's in the Revo itself. This comes attached with a cord, the cord goes back to the rudder, then comes right up to where you're sitting for your controls. Pretty straightforward. And believe me, this was much easier than I thought ever. I've never sailed before under my control anyways and this was really really easy as you can see Jose goes out there pops the thing and catches the wind and uses the rudder to control himself you can use the pedal system to situate yourself as you can see we're we're going pretty fast like I said I was really impressed on how easy sailing was this was my first time sailing it took me about five minutes to get used to it and this was ready to go um, the stabilizing this the sponsor definitely helped in stabilizing it from big gust of wind uh, you can do it without it but gust of wind will really you know flip you over and you don't want a lot of your gear to be falling in the water it's recommended but it's not necessary as you can see we're really going pretty good well it's only going we're only blowing like five to ten miles an hour with different gusts here and there this this is definitely a pretty you know cool idea considering one of the big thing about kayak fishing is that when you launch somewhere you're pretty much stuck and you don't want to paddle against the wind and all that stuff as you can see Jose is actually using his pedal to actually go even faster than what the wind can help us do so you can actually have lunch go across the bay change fishing you know do sail while you change your gear to a different location so it, it, I think it's a game changer I'll be using this a lot more I think check it out it's very relaxing we didn't spend hardly any energy at all and like I said this is my first time actually sailing and it was pretty darn easy and once you're done you fold it up and you strap it where your your paddles usually go and you're gone that's basically what I did good stuff good stuff I wish I would have tried this earlier 